Welcome to the 2014 Pioneers in Engineering Robotics Competition and this year's game, Tater Toss. Tater Toss is played on a 12 foot square carpet field by four teams in two alliances, the Blue Alliance and the Gold Alliance. The field is divided into two halves by an 8 inch tall wall. On each side of the field there are four vertical dispensers suspended 20 inches above the sides of the game field. In addition, there are two 11 inch permanent goals in the center of the field, one for each alliance. Beneath each dispenser permanent goal is an RFID tag, a total of six on each side of the field. Balanced on a two foot, eight inch tall pedestal at the center of the field is a single bonus ball. Game balls are white wiffle balls, two and seven eighths inches in diameter. Each dispenser begins the match loaded with five game balls. The object of the game is to collect game balls and either place them onto the opposing alliance's side of the field or into your own alliance's permanent goal located on the opposite side of the median wall. Robots must start entirely within their starting zone. Robots must begin the match preloaded with exactly one game ball. Robots will not be permitted to play without a game ball. Tater Toss is played in two phases, a 20 second autonomous period and a 2 minute teleoperated period. During the autonomous period, robots act independently without the aid of drivers. A robot scores 5 points when making contact with the median wall, 10 points when placing a game ball onto the other side of the field, or 15 points by placing a game ball into its alliance's permanent goal. Robots receive only the points associated with the highest value action they perform during the autonomous period. Be sure to move out of the starting zone to avoid a penalty. After the autonomous period, drivers assume control of their robots for the teleoperated period. At the beginning of the teleoperated period, the two dispensers on the back wall of each side of the field automatically release their game balls. The remaining two dispensers on each side can be released via RFID release codes, obtained from the six RFID tags on that side of the field. Each of these dispensers is associated with two randomly chosen release codes. The remaining two release codes are false. Sending a false release code will disable your robot for 3 seconds. Disable robots are unable to move. Up to 7 game balls can be placed in each alliance's permanent goal. Exceeding this limit, or throwing game balls out of the field will incur a penalty. Robots rush to place game balls on the other side of the field, but take care that no part of your robot exceeds the back of your permanent goal. The bonus ball is green, but is otherwise physically identical to the game balls. Once the bonus ball falls from its pedestal onto one side of the field, that side's alliance has possession of the bonus ball. The bonus ball is initially worth 5 points. Each time the bonus ball is moved to the other side of the field, that side's alliance gains possession of the bonus ball, and the bonus ball's value is increased by 1 point. Be careful not to place the bonus ball into a permanent goal, or have possession of the bonus ball for more than 30 seconds at a time. These actions will result in penalties. At the end of the game, each alliance receives 1 point for every game ball on the opposite side of the field, and 3 points for every game ball in its permanent goal. The alliance without possession of the bonus ball receives points equal to the final value of the bonus ball. Thank you for watching and good luck! We look forward to seeing you at the competition!